Hey everybody, Farm All Fanatic here. I am in the process of putting on a new module, the electronic ignition module in this distributor. Now, I did go and buy a set of points and condenser for this, but I talked to the company and they gave me some ideas as to what to do to continue uh, using the module and not burn it out. Now, here's the thing. They sent me a new one and gave me a five-year warranty on it. So, I'm down... I'm happy, and they're providing me with exactly what I wanted. Now, if you've never used one of these, it's all magnetized. This goes right around the, this isn't the one I'm going to use, but it goes right around the shaft there. And then the spacing, you don't have to have a, you know, a, you know how when you buy points, they send you the little spacer. It's automatically done at the factory, so it's even easier than points, although points are easy. So this is the new setup here. That I'm going to be putting on here, and uh, really, really easy to do. In fact, this one's already—I see this one's already mounted at the base. So here's your base; it's already mounted. I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to take that old base out of there, and then put this one in there. Um, but super, super easy to do, and. So that's what I'm doing today. Oh, well, I removed the mounting bracket off the out of the distributor itself. You can see there's two holes here. Those are the holes, those are the same holes where the points go. So it's pretty much you want to make sure you keep your screws though because you're going to use them on the next mounting base, which this module's already attached to the base, so there you go, nice and easy. I'm going to bend that right around, or not bend it, but conform it, I should say, right around. Okay, so the new module is in place. You can see that all I did was where the point screws were, I mounted the, uh, the base. The module was already, as I showed you, attached to the, the base of it, and then the screws just go in where the points were. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my magnet and put it around the distributor shaft. It's really foolproof. Okay, so the magnet's in place. Okay, so there's the magnet. It is in place. You can see that it's already pre-gapped pre from the factory. It's not quite like points, but you can see that there is a little space in between that magnet and the module itself. So as far as you having to do the guesswork and tighten things down and move it a little bit and then crank it down finally because it's set right, it's already done for you. Doing Okay, so this is what you want to do. You want to make sure this little rubber seal, you send your wires up through your rubber seal one at a time. Yeah, not real hard to do. Anybody could do this. Okay, so now I'm going to send the wires up through the hole. And then that rubber seal is going to come up and seal that hole off. I'm going to want to pull these wires reasonably tight. And the key with all this is that you want to have enough wire to where when you go to your coil, you can make a drip loop right here. And some people say, oh, you know, you got that rubber seal there. That rubber seal will not stop all moisture from going back into that distributor, I promise you. So you're going to want a drip loop, something like that. Uh, I noticed on this module, it's not like the last one I put on. This is about, got about half the wire. You know, I'm, I like too much wire you can always cut back but if you're short you're screwed so I'm not saying I'm screwed I'm just saying that it's going to be a shorter drip loop than what I want so all your water is going to run down here and drip here not run back in toward this seal and it will get into your distributor so that's where I'm at right now the next thing I got to do is these aren't the exact fittings I've got to these are spliced I've got to put the fittings on there and crimp them down 
Okay, so I got my ends crimped on, and it's just a matter of going positive to positive and negative to negative, real easy. So I'm gonna go up to the coil, the positive side. I'm gonna bring my ignition wire to the positive side as well. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to, use one of these. No, that ain't it. This is actually it. This is the one. Finger tighten it. Get that lined up. Get this down. So again, for my drip loop, come over to the other one. Come over to the negative side. Put that on the negative. Actually, I want a little washer to go on there the negative side push that up nice against that and tighten it down just like I did the positive side yeah with a five year warranty I had a they drove a real hard bargain so I was like, oh, okay, and I am going to put this on here, and I'm going to, just just for, just to fire it up, sake, and then I'm going to use a ballast resistor, I've decided, and see if that makes a difference, because here's the deal, I don't care how many free parts you give me, I don't want to refix and fix again, that's just me, and I think it's probably you too. So, you know, I mean, you ain't torquing them on there real tight, but tight enough. You got a good connection. All right, I'm satisfied with that. Got that, got that, got this. All right. So I've got my, my module in. I've got my magnet. I got my wires. I got somewhat of a drip loop, although I'll probably zip tie this down. I'm going to put my distributor cap back on, well, my rotor, it's going to go over top of that, over top of the magnet. Yes, indeed it is. As soon as I line it up, there you go. So that's on there just right. I'll put my distributor cap back on there, just the same way I had it. Clamp it down, and I hear tractors. That means the neighbors are probably fitting fields. And there you go. Again, I'm gonna I'll probably use a little zip tie, probably a red zip tie, you know, make it look good. But uh, that's it. That's the installation of a new ignition module on a Farm All M. And why that's not sitting flush on there? Uh, that's why. Because there we go. Now it's sitting flush. So that's it. I'm going to go in the barn, grab the battery that I've had on trickle charge for about two days. I'm going to throw it in there. I'm going to open up the pet cock. I've already checked the um, oh the se the sediment bowl. It's clean. Uh, I emptied it out. Put it back on. I uh, checked for for fuel flow. In fact, I'll walk you around here. I checked for flow out of the sediment bowl here. I was getting two good streams coming down, so I know from the tank to the bowl to this line, I'm getting outstanding fuel flow. There's my inline that I put on. There's a new rebuilt carburetor. We should be a go here. So, like I said, I'm going to go get the battery. We're going to fire this thing up. Let's see if we got fire. 